So if you're new to the concept, concept. Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marissa. Thank you so much for watching and hit the subscribe button for new videos every single Thursday. In today's video, I'm bringing back a series that gave me an idea to start my YouTube channel and that is the one week or five days in one palette. If you haven't heard the challenge before, what it is is you take one eyeshadow palette and you use just that one for a whole week or five days. I'm doing five days because it's five day work five day work week and trying different combinations and honestly it stemmed from the fact that I had so many well I guess I still do eyeshadow palettes and I just found that myself just reaching for like one or two and I really wasn't using them so I wanted to challenge myself creatively and use my other palettes and you know also and on top of it, you can create some fun looks out of it. And like I said, it was just another way to boost my creativity. And in today's video, we are going to be doing the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow, and it's in the brights. And this is a 16 pan eyeshadow palette full of bright colors. There's, as you can see, there's no browns or blacks or anything like that. And um, I bought it because I needed a colorful look for a shoot. And so it's been in my collection for, gosh, probably about a year or two now. And on, honestly, as, as much as I do love colorful eyes, there's not exactly something I reach for day to day. But with the summer season coming, I just kind of felt like wanted to rejuvenate, bring in some color to go with the change of season and the fact that the weather is warming up and it made me really excited. So I used this for five days and I wore all these looks all day and honestly overall I didn't have any issues with like color fading or anything like that for the price point I was very shocked at the fact that they stayed so bright especially some of these neons I actually used it today for my look I used this color all over the lid and then I used this one on the outside corner and then I used this one on my lower lash line and so I honestly thought it was a great addition and I didn't want to spend too much money because I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing a lot of colorful looks. So I, I've been happy overall with it, but let's go ahead and get into all the looks that I And just to let you guys know, pretty much my base products have stayed the same throughout the entire week. Um, but of course I will link everything down below and I will let you know if I like I pretty much what I did is I would change up either the blush or um, maybe having like a crease color because like because as you can see there is no like brown transition shade or anything like that in here so I had to kind of add in some things um, but starting with Monday um, I did my normal base I was using elf I was my two concealers that I would use would be between the Hydrating Camel Concealer or the 16 Hour Camel Concealer. Again, I'll have everything linked down below. Uh, the Wet n Wild uh, Press Powder, the Butter Bronzer, uh, the Becca Highlight. Uh, those were ones I've consistently used every single day during the week. Um, as you can see, I have like little notes here of what, what I wore each day so I can remember. Um, so in Monday, I had, let's see, I ended up putting a crease shade and I was actually surprised with myself because I went directly into the purples, but I started out with the I cre um, like a transition shade from the Elf New Classics palette in the shade Uptown. I kind of put that all over my crease and in um, on my lower lash line. And then I pretty much took a packer brush and I put the light purple all over the lid. I have uh, seen this look, I think a couple of times like on Instagram. Uh, I'll try to find the ones that um, like kind of inspired me for it down below so I used this light purple all over the lid and then what I did what I like to do when I do like a wing liner is I like to put either um, like a gel liner down or an eyeshadow to kind of outline where I want my eyeliner to go and I so what I used is the flower beauty eyeliner in the color brownstone and then I went over top of that with the physician's formula eye booster in ultra black 
That is also what I'm wearing in today's look as well. As you can see, I kind of look a little crazy with the eyeliner, but that's okay. Makeup's fun. It washes off. And then what I did is I went into the Ilia Luminous Lash Mascara and After Midnight. This is currently my favorite black mascara that I've been using. It doesn't smudge or flick or anything like that. But And then on my eyebrows, that's another uh, product that is, that's the other product that's been uh, consistently used throughout this week is the Winky Lux Universal Eyebrow Pencil. And then for my lips, I did Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner in Lipstick. When I was applying the purple, I noticed it was actually a little patchy and I had to put layers and layers and layers and layers of it in order to get the color that I wanted. But once I got those layers on, it actually held up very well all day. As you can see, as you can see, there is actually a lot of kickback in the pans. That doesn't personally bother me, but I just want to notate that just in case you're a person that does. And now on to Tuesday, going into um, my greens actually. I've been really drawn to greens lately. Um, and what I did is I ended up putting this light green color in the crease. And as like a transition, I wanted to try that out. I have not worked on that kind of look before where I had a color as a transition and it was very light it blends nice even though it's actually technically a shimmer if you look at it and it blended very well through the uh, through the crease and it had um <coughs> excuse me it was definitely it was definitely light but that's completely fine i figured you know light green i'm not expecting it to be super pigment especially for this look because I was using it as a crease shade and then I went into the dark green right here, all over the lid um, I like this kind of look um, I think the green definitely makes my eyes green so I definitely been drawn to the green eyeshadows the dark green is very pigment pigmented but it seemed patchy so I kept layering it and layering it and layering it um, and then I went into the glow, Be glow gleam elf glow gleam beam palette excuse me that's a tongue twister and I use this very bright uh, like the lightest very 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 um, I don't want to say bright what's the right word very glowy uh, shade all over the and the brown bow in the inner corner and then what I did is I took the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie Cream Gel Liner in this shade Spare Time. I'm not 100% if these are still in stock. Of course, I will link everything down below. Then I went into the ColourPop BFF Mascara in Brownie Points just to kind of go with this more earthy theme. And then I, for my lips, I did the Estee Lauder Lip Liner and the uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Driver. And this green shadow actually held up all day. Okay, going into Wednesday. What I ended up doing is I took that Elf New Classic shade in Uptown again and I put it all over the lid and in the crease. And I was thinking doing something a little bit different. I wanted to do more of a liner look with shadow. And so what I ended up doing is taking this dark teal as a liner and I did like an angled brush and I just kind of created a wink effect. Now I'm not the best at doing wings, um, but it actually came out really well. Um, there, to note, there was a ton of fallout and ton of kickback. Um, so if you are wanting to do this kind of look, especially with that dark teal, I would definitely say do your eyes first on that. And then after I completed the liner look, I went and use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Honeydew just to brighten up my eyes a little bit, especially with dark blue. It can um, make your make your eyes look more dark and um, sleepy, like you, you can accentuate dark circles. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And then I just went back into the Elf Glow Gleam Beam Palette in that light color and put on the brow bone and inner corner. And then I finished it off with the Ilia Mascara and of course set everything down with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, setting spray, the Hyaluronic Acid setting spray. On my lips is the same lip as I did yesterday just to 
kind of make the eyes the focus, which is the Estee Lauder Lip Liner in Spice and the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Driver. Okay, going into Thursday, what we ended up doing is more of a peachy orange look. Um, orange is my second orange is my second favorite color and I was super excited. I believe I did this uh, a similar look with this but I, I used a different palette um, but I wanted to try and see how these oranges and yellows did. So what I ended up doing is I put this medium orange shade in the outside corner and crease and honestly it was not super easy to blend the color pigmentation was very light and it's definitely one that you need a base for and also to know it might have been the brush i was using so i next time i think i try when i try this look i will use a different brush with that shade and then i went into the light orange and that one was very pigmented but i noticed that it was pretty sheer on one eye which i thought was very odd because it's not like I use two different bases, so it could have been the technique I was using or the brush I was using that just caused it. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I switched to the brush I was using for the outer corner to see if that would help with the like sheerness and patchiness, which it ended up doing. Um, I didn't exactly like how these two blended together. Uh, honestly, it could have been my skills and the brushes I was using, which is totally fine. It's just next time I may I'm gonna switch it up and try again. It doesn't. Just because that happened doesn't exactly um, sway me to not want to use the oranges in this palette. And then what I ended up doing is the neon pinky orange color. There's no shade names on here, so sorry if that's not a clear description. I ended up, like I said, I ended up using that neon pinky orange lower uh, orange shade in the lower lash line. It was very pigmented. It was super easy to blend. I was very happy with this color, which is odd because I don't really go for pinks. I'm not really a pink girl. And finished it off with the bright yellow in the inner corner. I really like this look. Like I said, orange is one of my favorite colors and it feels so summery. Um, I just wasn't 100% happy with the way they blended together and like I was going for an ombre look and it just didn't end up working out. <sighs> My final eyeshadow I used it was the bright yellow in the inner corner and then to finish off the look I used that same color pop cream gel liner in the shade Honeydew, the black Ilia mascara again just to again contrast with the orange. And then for lips, I did the NYX Lip Liner Nude Suede Shoes. And then I used the ColourPop Disney Collection Gloss in the shade Guppy. Now on to the last day. And I wanted to do something super effortless, more every day. And the, and the only change I did with my base was actually not wear a blush. So I wanted this very, very natural looking, but with a wash of color. I know that seems kind of like an oxymoron, but that was the look I was going for. And I wanted to kind of touch the pinks a little bit in this, um, in this palette, which I hadn't really. Um, this mauvey peak in particular, I wanted to match the dress I was wearing. So what I ended up doing is using this mauve peak and I just uh, wanted to have a wash of color on my upper and lower lash line. Uh, there was some kickback and it actually turned out more purple than I expected, which was really interesting. And then after that, uh, for a little bit of highlight and to go in with the pink theme, I went into the Elf Glow Gleam Bean Palette again in this pinky shade. And I put that on the inner corner in brown bone. Of course, added the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honeydew. I have been really loving using that to like brighten up my eyes. And the lips, I kind of changed it up and went for again for a more peachy, pinky color. Uh, when I went, so what I used is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Another Round, and then the Elf Lip Pumping Gloss in Peach Bellini. So overall, I really enjoyed my experience with the palette during the week and honestly, it made me like excited. It made me excited to get up and get ready in the morning. So it's like, ooh, what color am I gonna do? I had a little bit of an idea what colors I was gonna use, but um, yeah, like I said, it made me more excited. Um, so pros, definitely price point for what you get. Um, it's really good um, quality. 
I was really happy with it. Um, hold on, I have a hard time opening it. And honestly, there is not a lot of fallout as you can see currently. You can see I've used it, but I don't see a lot of fallout. Like the the, um, the pans aren't too messy. And I, it, like I said, it made me reach for it. However, I didn't really, I kept gravitating towards obviously the blues and orange because those are my favorite colors and as well as the greens. But what I kept getting stuck on is just not just taking a color and putting it all over the lid and and then just putting a brown crease shade, which again is not bad, but I wanted to push myself and I think I did a little bit with the creativity, but I feel like I probably could have done more. I think it would have been different if these shimmers are showing, like, the, I mean, they're showing us shimmers in the pan were actually like true shimmers. That was one thing I definitely noticed is that yeah, I can see like this green, this light green shade, you know, which I notated that was a shimmer. Actually, it looks, yeah, there you go. Okay, I looked yellow in the viewfinder for whatever reason, but like it, there is a little bit of shimmer in there, but it wasn't showing up on my lid. So it, honestly, to me, I kind of treated this as like an all matte palette. Now I haven't touched this red. Red's not really my thing. Same thing with pinks, and I didn't really touch the purples, but um, I mean, when I say the purples, uh, I didn't really touch these darker purples, but overall, I was really happy with it and the way that everything blended out. I was, like I said, genuinely excited to get up and get ready, and it kind of forced me to get ready. You know how you have those days where you just don't want to get ready, and you just want to just, you know, hello world, here's my favorite bare face. Um, but that is my final thought. Again, I will link everything that I used down below. Let me know down in the comments. Do you kind of do this challenge, especially if you're a makeup lover and have a lot of eyeshadow palette? Or do you use a different system? Let me know down below. And also, if you want me to do a certain palette to see if it's, some, it's something... <sighs> Also, if there is an eyeshadow palette you would like me to test in this kind of challenge, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be excited to try another palette out and, you know, put, boost my creativity on the eyeshadows and, and to be able to boost my creativity in the eye looks that... I would love... Uh, let me know down in the comments if there's any... Oh my god. Let me know down in the comments if there, if you, let me know down in the comments if there are any uh, eyeshadow palettes that you would like me to put to the test in this kind of challenge. And also, if you're a makeup lover and have a lot of eyeshadows, um, like I do, maybe I actually take, okay, stop that. <laughs> So overall, I would definitely recommend getting this if you are interested in testing out colors and, but, okay. Overall, I would definitely recommend this palette if you are interested in testing out, you know, color, if you are new to the makeup game and just are not sure where to go and also don't want to spend a whole lot of money on, okay, oh my god, I need to stop myself. Editing, editing this is going to be fun. <laughs> Anyways, overall, I would definitely recommend it, this palette if you are looking to kind of dip your toes into color but don't want to spend a whole lot of money. I thought the quality was fairly decent. Again, I would definitely treat these as like all mattes, to be honest. Um, so if you're looking for shimmers and in color in bright colors, I would not recommend this palette, but if you're looking just to dip your toes in it and not wanting to spend a whole lot, 100% would recommend it. So let me know down in the comments if you have done this challenge before or what is your system that you use to try to use all your eyeshadows if you are a makeup lover. And also let me know if there are any eyeshadow palettes you would like me to put this put to the test. Also let me know if there are any eyeshadow palettes you would like me to test. Also let me know if you would like if what is wrong with me today? Seriously I cannot talk. 
also let me know down in the comments if there are any eyeshadow palettes I should put to the test in this kind of challenge. Uh, hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching and hit the like button if you Hit the like button if you like this video and also if you're new, hit the subscribe button to get a new video every single Thursday. We do all kinds of stuff on here. We do DIY, vlogs, um, lifestyle, fashion, makeup, you name it, I pretty much do it. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Again. Hit the like button if you like this video and if you're new I would love it if you would subscribe and you would get new videos you would get I need to really figure out this outro hit the like button if you really if you really like Hit the like button if you like this video and hit the subscribe button for a new video every single Thursday. We do all kinds of videos on here, vlogs, uh, fashion, makeup, DIY. Um, I'm actually working on a DIY video that'll be coming up soon. So please hit the subscribe button to be notified when that video will go up. And also hit the notification bell so you can be notified when that does go up. Thank you guys again so much. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Wow, that took me way longer. That seriously took me way longer than I was supposed to. Ugh. <sighs>